Welcome to Monday's Market Outlook here at Wealth Creation Investing. Matthew Buckley, call sign whiz, the chief investment strategist here at WCI. And obviously have a uh, holiday shortened week this week. Market uh, essentially melting up. We've been in this post-Fed uh, taper euphoria. Yay, the champagne still flowing and the confetti flying around a little bit. But we're starting to... Uh, Starting to get back to reality here, but on these holiday shortened weeks, you really don't see that much volume, and that can be uh, very, very uh, dangerous. But um, some interesting reports. Last week, uh, the OFR, kind of a little-known government agency within the Treasury Department, Office of Financial Research, came out with uh, four big risks uh, to the markets, and mainly the economy in 2014. Uh, credit risk duration risk, impaired trading liquidity, and emerging market capital outflow spillover risk. A lot of big words there, but let's just say that uh, it, it's not all good, okay? And again, we have this debt ceiling uh, once again, here we go, coming up in um, February, right? And if you watch the Problem president's uh, press conference on Friday before he went and jetted off to Hawaii for the, the holidays, um, when asked, well, sir, are you going to negotiate with Republicans on the debt ceiling? You, of course, know what his answer was. Of course I'm not. But if you, you just Google this, do me a favor, 2008 Obama debt ceiling, um, see what then-candidate Obama said about raising the debt ceiling under Bush. Irresponsible and unpatriotic. Of course, no reporter has any backbone in a presidential news conference. Why? You ask a tough question, and that'll be the last presidential press conference you're allowed to attend. So welcome to Soviet Russia. If I were sitting there, I would have been like, Mr. President, you said it was unpatriotic to raise the debt ceiling under George Bush, right? Now you're saying it's our constant, it, it's Congress's responsibility to pay the bills. So, the, of course, the, the stench of hypocrisy just kind of makes me choke. Um, but you know we have we have a lot going on after this taper like i said the uh the confetti start to fall the champagne's getting a little bit of a hangover and the market's recognizing that it has to stand on its own and the economic data that are out uh, especially this morning aren't necessarily lighting the world on, on fire right revised university of michigan consumer sentiment lower personal income lower than forecast personal spending flat pce personal consumption uh, index flat not not the uh, not the best news in the world, right? Durable goods uh, orders tomorrow. Some housing uh, info, especially with new home sales. Richmond Fed. Uh, obviously, Wednesday is um, uh, off. Uh, Thursday we'll get some weekly unemployment claims, and then Friday really nothing. So be careful on a low volume week. Uh, there could be a lot of volatility. We have a weekly options uh, iron condor that we're trying to get filled on with SPX. And I'm chasing it right around here with a dollar twenty, dollar twenty-five. I'll go back up to a dollar twenty-five here, and actually a bear call spread uh, on Apple, selling a bear call spread into this pop. Um, I'm selling fifteen of the Ds that they expire this Friday. Five seventy, five seventy-five bear call spreads. Not the best news for Apple. This is a longer term longer term trade on Apple, this China telecom deal, it's not like tomorrow 7 trillion Chinamen are going to be buying the iPhone. As we've talked about here at Top Gun Options, they're very sensitive to price. And Apple, who's sworn up and down, Cook's sworn up and down that he's going to defend his margins. Well, if you're going to take that strategy in the China, dude, you might get your rear end handed to you, especially with a cheap Google slash Motorola phone. So, um, while the China deal is causing a big pop out of Apple stock today, not necessarily uh, a, a big believer in that, okay? Uh, but good stuff going on. Really uh, had a great year here at Top Gun Options going into the holidays, reflecting. We had a great weekly options primary live trade brief this morning, kind of a joint brief since tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and it's time for me to spend some time with my families after working my ass off excuse my French, this entire year here at Top Gun Options and having a blast. Over 50 grand in model portfolio profits over in Urgent Alerts, about the same in weekly options and about 30-ish in primary live trade brief. Um, really, really had a great year here at Top Gun Options, so a lot to be thankful for, so I'm going to enjoy the holidays, okay? Uh, so uh, if you don't come back to Top Gun Options,
options tomorrow to see our sit rep. Uh, have a very, very Merry Christmas uh, with your loved ones, your family, your friends, whoever it is, your cat, your dog. Uh, remember the reason for the season, and I'll see you Friday for our market wrap-up here at Wealth Creation Investing. Merry Christmas.